Alright guys, so I thought I would just uh, continue uh, our evolution and show you the, uh, the progress that I've been up to. Um, it's been a lot of work, I'm super super exhausted but uh, uh, you should see how far I've been. Um, it's still a long 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 way from getting done. Uh, it's just a lot of material, a lot of content. A lot of organization as you can see I you know I, I, ba <laughs> I basically spend uh, a lot of nights up uh, these days uh, trying to uh, condense everything and get it out uh, as quickly as I can so I'm just going to get you directly into um, the speed labs of uh, the elevation that I, I did this time around as you can see it's right here um, so one thing that uh, you probably uh, start to notice is that it's not a very good idea to import hatches so this is why I basically take the time to uh, uh, kind of model around every surface that sort of have the same uh, hatch all around um, what else can I say um, I got my text to speech note. Okay. All right. Um, so, but you'd start to notice at some point that uh, you begin to get a sense of uh, some of those things that can naturally import that you can try to pick uh, as a block, as a group. And so, So as a block, you'd see um, you would see that uh, uh, I, I, as I model, I become I begin to get a little bit smarter about how I I model, and I begin to think about maybe you know the information that I need. Uh, probably there's a lot of places where there's a lot of duplication, so I probably don't need to retrace over everything. But as I'm working, I'm constantly thinking based on the previous experience, based. And what I'm trying to achieve I'm always like okay you know okay so now that I have this how can I get now much faster now that I understand how this works in 2d line by line what works what doesn't work how can I um, now uh, work much faster so th there's always that question and obviously you know it doesn't always work you don't know, you know so what you do is you start slow and then you gradually increase and then you make a big leap and then you see if it's going to allow you to make a leap if it doesn't allow you to make a leap you shrink down again by a, a little bit and see if, if it still doesn't work you shrink down again and you gradually gain and then you try another big leap so that's basically how uh, I think of modeling so here I'm basically trying to focus uh, myself on capturing every uh, piece of detail about um, the elevation that I think would be a little bit necessary. Okay. It's looking good. There isn't much to say at this point, except that it's, you know, it's the same uh, type of repetitive uh, work that I've been doing. Uh, you know just on an elevation so other cat folks uh, people from 2d uh, you know drawing background can easily understand what this is you know what this is about and sometimes you know looking into the details as well uh, the more you do this the more you begin to uh, get more familiar with the project, you know, as a whole. Uh, you begin to, to to be a bit more personal. You begin to understand some of the things that you didn't understand because you're constantly looking at it. You're constantly building the, the, the you know, everything is in 2D. You're building the 3D in your brain and trying to represent and store the information in 3D in FreeCAD uh, in one way or the other. So, mm. 
now at this point there's a lot of information that still doesn't make a lot of sense until you really get into putting it all together but you just want to get the main outlines and you know at this point you know I just draw polylines all around polylines polylines uh, you know you know if they are going to import as field shapes you know that's uh, that's a bit what I'm looking to get but uh, you know it doesn't really matter so what I want to do is memorize the, the information in in 2d for import in FreeCAD so I can always reference in FreeCAD if I did not have the immediate uh, uh, 2d work available in DWG or some sort Okay, so this basically concludes this. So I'm going to uh, see you into the next part, and uh, and let's get it rolling. Let's get it rolling. All right.